In this lesson, you will learn how to create and modify templates to be used in the DI wizard. Tosca DI provides out-of-the-box templates for pre-screening, vital checks, and field tests that are used by the DI wizard. The provided DI templates are a generic set of data quality tests to get you started. The majority of the templates are based on SQL Server syntax. Tricenter support has a number of these queries for other database technologies in their syntax. This setup is generally included as part of the implementation. The provided templates can be copied, edited, or deleted as needed to meet your requirements for your specific tests. We have seen in the pre-screening lesson how we can create custom templates for pre-screening file tests. This is also possible for vital checks and field tests. For our Medicare example, we need to create custom field level tests for database to database so we can run these from SQL Server to Snowflake. The standard templates do not include the Snowflake syntax, so we need to change and parameterize the queries to accommodate these differences. Let's have a look at our two databases. If I open up SQL Server, you can see my health associated infections table and the syntax required by SQL Server. It's the same if you select top 1000 rows. The same data has been uploaded into Snowflake, and here you can see the syntax is slightly different. We have to provide healthcare, the schema, and the table, and the column as well will be provided. So there's an extra parameter. We can also see we have to use the limit by 1000 syntax. If I close that down, let's open up Tricenter's Tosca and go to our data integrity templates. Here we have our field tests. We can provide these for single database and also database to database, which is our example. If I expand these on the left, you can see we have some categories, text base, value base, and some generic. So if I open up the first one, we'll see for min length, the syntax provided is based on SQL Server. It buffers the source count from the source and runs the same against the target. Now this query won't work on Snowflake as the syntax is different. So I can create my own custom templates and modify the templates for the Snowflake syntax. I've created them all, but let's do one so we can have a look. If I copy my minimum length, I'm going to paste it into my custom folder, select the test, and we'll say minimum length training. Let's expand the query and we can see the parameterized data over here. Now, SQL Server is fine, so we don't need to make any changes here, except if we do want to select the top 1000, we can say top 1000. For Snowflake, this is different. We would actually put at the end, if I hold in shift and hit enter, limit 1000. Another difference of Snowflake is they don't use data length, they just use length. So I can make that change here. We also need to add the actual healthcare database to the front of our actual query here where it says schema. So I can do this by either buffering the data I want, so I can have a single point of maintenance and passing the buffer in at runtime. So I've set one called data warehouse healthcare, or if I come back to my folder down here, we can also set the parameter data warehouse healthcare. In my existing tests, I've used the buffer data warehouse. But for our training, let's use the parameter so you can see both will work. I'll provide the configuration parameter by saying curly brackets cp square data warehouse and close. There. Now I'm done and my template is ready to be used by the data integrity wizard. If you have a large number of queries and do not wish them to show up in the wizard, there's another property you can change. If I come over here, this is what tells Tosca DI which queries to display in the wizard. I can always change my DI template to false and then my standard templates, which are not required in my healthcare example, can be turned off so they do not appear in the wizard.